Peoples of Earth try to strike out the terrible parts of history. The inhuman doctrines of fascism, Nazi ideology, mass murders of World War II. Law enforcements were made and international watch formed. But no use. While the superpowers were playing their geopolitical games around, the fascism revived right in the middle of the Europe, in Ukraine. Nazi groups revolted at Maidan, went out of the underground. Financed from the West, they were used to counter pro-Russian political forces in Ukraine. They were incited to bring up West-oriented oligarchs to the power in order to shrink the Russia's sphere of the influence. But the result came out of control. Great number of far-right politicians entered the parliament, issued laws against the people of Donbas, bombed cities of Donetsk and Lugansk, formed Nazi battalions. The president Poroshenko too speaks about peace to Europe, but in Ukraine he says their children will hide in the basement while ours will go to school, we'll have pensions and social support, they won't, and this is the way we will win this war. Europe and the USA have grown up a fascist monster which is no longer subordinate even to the people they earlier brought to power, burning people alive performing punitive war operations over the civilians, making political steps of genocide, fascism is spreading over the Ukraine. While government of Ukraine is refusing to confess fascist direction of its policy, Ukraine is voting against the anti-fascist declaration of UN proposed by Russia. Alongside the USA and Canada, Ukraine formed the new Triple Alliance, opposing 155 other countries of the world who support declaration. So is it really that uncontrolled? Is it planned to be used the brutal force of fascist hate for ruining Ukraine's society in order just to win the political game in the region, which is though rather unlikely? But no matter who wins this game, the fascist beast would continue to grow until too much blood would be spilled, until the new war against the humanity enemies would be unleashed. Whoever wins the games today, the people of Ukraine will face the fascists now tomorrow having to fight for their lives and the peace. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.